TST, a solutions company. In this quick tip video, I'm going to go over some basic surfacing commands that we have inside of Visi. So I'm going to zoom into this area here and show plane from a closed area. Under a solid drop down, we have plane from a closed area where we can just pick inside of any area and create a surface in that area. It just has to be a closed area. It can be lines and arcs, any area that's closed. I can even pick down here and create a surface in that area. Then we have simple commands such as plane by three points where I can just go ahead and pick three points and create a surface. That's simple. We also have a linear rule. We go to solid linear rule. Doesn't matter order inside of Visi, you can pick either side of the line. If it's crisscrossed or bow tied, all you have to do is hit the space bar to untie it. Lofted surface, that one's pretty simple. We go to solid, other surfaces, and we can do a lofted in two directions. To do a lofted in two directions, we just pick the lines, right click and pick the other two and right click and we end up with a nice surface. We could also do this surface with auto constraint very easily. OneDrive to shape. This is a nice command to be able to use. This is under the solid. OneDrive to shape. You pick your drive curve. If this is a profile created with lines and arcs, then it makes it super easy to be able to pick your drive curve and then your shape curve and you pick your application point and if you pick the same one twice you can see you end up with a very nice set of surfaces that actually have editable radiuses on them. You have options inside of here where you can turn this into a solid or I can turn this into a thick surface and I can set a thickness if I want to. Again, super quick and easy to be able to create something like this. Some other commands that are simple and easy to use. Swept surface. We can now do swept surface with edges. So all I have to do is pick this edge. And I can turn my block control on and pick these two edges. Right click, hit preview, and it creates a very nice surface for me. Another good surface is the surface tangent. It's under solid. Surface tangent to two surfaces or faces. I pick those two surfaces and it creates a very nice tangent surface. Drape surface is another nice and easy command to run. Under solid, drape surface. I could do it for my edges environment and I could press and hold here and just grab the boundary of this and you'll see this is not a flat surface but you have some options in here to do a tight or a custom or constrained surface. You can change the end parts and bring these values closer to make the surface tighter. You end up with a very nice surface that you can then unite and turn back into a solid. This one right here, we're going to show end-sided patch. It's under solid, other surfaces, and it's called end-sided patch. We can do it from the edges environment again and press and hold and grab the boundary and you'll see it creates a very nice patch in this area. Again, other side, press and hold, boundary, very nice surface. And still an insided patch. I can grab an area like this, press and hold, and grab the boundary, and you can see you end up with a very good surface. Quick and easy. For filling holes, you can use this in runoff as well, or filling holes in machining jobs. This is actually under operation, and it's called fill holes. You can do it from faces or you can do it from elements. So if I do it from elements, I can pick this entire element and tell it to delete loops 
And when I delete loops, you'll notice that it'll fill all of these holes. It does a very good job of recreating the surfaces in those areas. Extend surfaces. We have very quick and easy extends. So I can come and extend surfaces and if I want to press and hold, I can grab just one edge and I can extend the surface out. I can check the box and modify it if I want to. Parting plane is a great surface for runoff. Under solid parting plane, we can go and press and hold and do the entire outside of a part. And you can see we can pull this out and create a tangent parting plane surface. There's some nice editing the trim options. Under our solid, we go to edit surface trimming. We can pick individual faces that need to be trimmed. So if I pick this face right here and I activate the automatic trimming repair, it automatically trims that area back to where it needs to be. You can see on this one it works as well. These are a few of our basic surfacing options. Thank you for watching today.